You are kind of tall. I mean, if I sit back, it's... No, y'all gotta go down. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, you guys read the title. Today, we're gonna be talking about my music taste. Why are we talking about my music taste? Also, my camera might die. So, we're talking about my music taste because I am embarrassed of my music taste. I'm not... Okay, I'm not personally embarrassed. I like what I like. And I think that's fucking fine. But I feel like because I've never met anyone that has liked the music I listen to, it makes it feel embarrassing. I've had multiple instances where people ask to listen to the music I listen to and they literally say they can't listen to it. They have to turn it off because it's so bad. And I kind of get offended because I'm just like, I listen to this 24-7 because it makes me happy. It makes me feel certain things. What I did, I have a lot of songs downloaded on my phone. But I don't have playlists. I've never made a playlist. I have one playlist and it's for Twitch when I stream. I kind of just had a shuffle and then from that shuffle I have to fucking pick songs that I liked that I really liked out of the bunch. So this is these are the top 12 songs that I picked out to explain and talk about. And then you guys can decipher if, a, if I have bad music taste or not. So Also, side note, I do listen to Apple Music. I don't have Spotify. I don't like Spotify, I'll be so honest. It's just not for me. We all have our differences and mine is just better. So anyways, let's talk. Let's start with 12. At number 12, we have Rad Drugs by Misio. I don't, I don't do drugs. I'm gonna be so, I'm being very, very honest. I do not do drugs. I've never done a single drug in my life. I've never smoked, never inhaled nothing. I've not done a single drug. But I like this song because it gets me super hyper. Um, cause it's like, Rad Drugs. I'm never gonna do that shit again. I like this song because essentially, or that is like the worst explanation, but that's just how that song means to me and why I like it and why I will never uninstall it. Number 11, so I, like I said before, it was shuffled, so I wouldn't put this song in my top 12 but I was too lazy to like really thoroughly look through everything so this is the song I chose Wish I Loved You in the 90s by Take Tate McRae. And this song kind of just means like maybe we would have worked if I met you earlier or later. That's just basically what the song means. Whenever I think about someone that didn't work out just people in my past that don't are not in my life anymore like maybe this would have worked out later or sooner. Number 10 Similar to the other song, we have All Right by Clara May. I also don't know if I'm saying all the artists' names right. I don't really follow artists, I just like the songs. Same thing as before, I, like I said. Although we don't talk anymore, and I don't even know if we're on good terms, I'll always hope you're all right, and if you ever need me, I'll be there. <sighs> I made a realization recently. I was just like, you know, at the end of the day, I think life's way too fucking short to hold a grudge against someone that you know damn well, that you care about deeply, even if they fucked you up, like fucked you over or you fucked them over, whatever it's that. If there's like a little part of you that cares about them, it's, it, life's too short to hold grudges and be petty, I think, in my opinion. So that song, I'm being honest. Okay, so at number nine, this is actually, I would say, is my, one of my top songs is Happier Than Ever by Billy. There's a specific person in mind that reminds me of this song. Let's make this very clear. I've never had a boyfriend from my past, an ex-boyfriend, that meant enough to me for me to like cry about or care about or even think about, to be so honest. Like, it's fucked up to say, but they meant fucking nothing to me. I've never had a relationship last longer than a month and a half. I'm proud of that shit because fuck you, I'm not gonna waste my time with a dude. It's weird. Um, me and my boyfriend though, three years, I would have never, I would have never thought myself in that. But anyways, this song reminds me of a friendship and every lyric in this song reminds me of that person and maybe that's a bad thing, I don't fucking know. There was one lyric in it, it's like, oh, fuck, I forgot what it's called. It's like something along the lines like, oh, I never talk shit about you on the internet because that shit's embarrassing or something like that. I have never talked about this person to anyone other than people who physically fucking asked me what happened. But it's embarrassing to talk about, bitch. Like, that's why I really like the song because I love songs that I can relate to because sometimes, because I don't like talking about my feelings to people when it's like deep, deep feelings like huge feelings like feelings that will literally burden someone to have like or here i feel like i love this song because i resonate with it and then it's kind of like damn like this relation with the situation so i just really like the song like i talk so highly about this person to other people and then they don't mean 
like they I mean nothing to them now <laughs> so it's kind of embarrassing to talk about next number eight we have Christine by Christine and the Queens I love this song it has a dear place in my heart because it was the first French pop song that got me into French pop music you guys don't know I love French music I don't know French pop specifically it's because I have this thing where I can't do anything if I'm listening to music because I know the lyrics, I know what they're saying, this and that, and then I feel the music, whatever. French pop, it's like, I don't know what the fuck they're saying. It sounds good. It feels good. I don't know what the fuck they're saying. So I can do tasks while listening to French pop. So that's specifically why I love French pop. And this song was a French song that got me into French pop. And I actually found the song by, there's this dude, I don't, this toddy. Toddy Smith, maybe? He used to be- or he was friends with David Dobrik at the time before the cancellation or whatever. He posted with the song and the song just like started everything for me. Number seven, we have I Thought I Needed You by The Kid Leroy. I- okay, first of all, this album, I love- pff, I love every song in this album. There's actually some songs that I think are better than this song, but- I love this song. First of all, I play this shit all the time when I'm playing Ranked and in Valorant. Dude, that shit got me. Ugh. Um. I like the song because it's like, I thought I needed you. Maybe it's not- okay, I don't think my meaning is necessarily the meaning in the song, but this is the meaning I take from the song and that's why it means a lot to me. In my eyes, this is my philosophy on life. If I didn't need you, I will never fucking need you, okay? It's like, if I was in a predicament, I was getting chased down by a dude, I call someone, like, yo, can you help me? Like, no, I can't. And then I fix or I deal with the situation, I fix the situation, I solve the situation, or I solve the problem, then I don't need you. I don't need you in my life. And I think that's a bad philosophy to have because now I have no one other than my boyfriend, so it's kind of like... I don't know, but this is the philosophy I have because if I don't need you in the first place, I will never need you. Next we have Fuck Some- Oh my god. Fuck Somebody by The Rex. This song. Y'all, this song makes me so happy because first of all, this is number one. The, the song that got me introduced to The Rex, which is, fun fact, my favorite band ever. This is also the song that I felt like I was crazy in high school because people were telling me fucking like I was crazy because- like I said before, I used to get into relation- if a dude asked me out as a girlfriend or whatever, I said yes because you never know if it's gonna work until like you are dating, you know? So I would say yes and then I didn't see a future then, break up with them like after a week. People kept telling me like why do you break up with people so easily? Like you should work on the relationship, you have to work on the relationship. Why the fuck would I work on a relationship that I know is not gonna go anywhere? If something's wrong with the the dude, the person that you're dating, it's not working, bruh. But if it's a situation in the relationship, like as in like, like you like cars, but they hate cars, that is something completely dealable. But if they have fucking anger issues, or if they have guilt tripping issues, or any like psychological issues that you just no. In the long run, it's not gonna fucking work. I'm done. And people were like, yo, like, you shouldn't do that. Like, you don't know them fully after a month. If the relationship- Sorry, I spit. If the relationship is that bad in the beginning, why the fuck would I stay? I'm just wasting my fucking time. There's a billion dudes. Why am I wasting my time with this one dude from high school? Like, motherfucker, what? Anyway, so this song, Fuck Somebody, is basically like, like, I'm so tired of breaking up with motherfuckers. Can you just do something to give me a reason to break up with you? And it's like an obvious reason to break up with them. Because I felt like I, I, ha I ran out of reasons to break up with someone. Like, I can't just like... I was like, also I didn't like communicating that I didn't like them anymore. Because so that's kind of mean. But I should have just done that. I don't know, but it's like just cheat on me. Can you just sleep with a motherfucker? Can you just like do something? Can you steal from me? Like basically that's what the song is It's like can you just do something so I can break up with you and it's easier on me Maybe that makes me a piece of shit, but I was in high school. I've never dated outside of high school. So other than my current relationship, but that's about it. Alright, so the next song is Blind by Role Model. First of all, I love Emma Chamberlain, but they are not together now. And this song is written about Emma Chamberlain, but I love this song and specifically because it reminds me of my boyfriend. My boyfriend has always been someone that's obviously, visibly, physically, everything is different about him. This song just reminds me of my boyfriend because he's just so unique and so different than anyone I've ever met. So it's kind of like, this song is like, I'm literally blind to everybody else but him. Okay, so number four, I have Ghost by Justin Bieber. Long story short, I had a friend who passed away and someone made an edit of him and they used this song. So anytime I hear the song, it reminds me of him. And it makes me really fucking sad because I felt like this person had so much more potential than me in the world. And it makes me upset that it was 
him not me i hate when people die and they had so much potential so much like talent just so much just everything just, like so much to give to the world and then there's me a lazy fuck okay number three is everything i'm not by emmeline i think emmeline i really 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 like this song there's one lyric in the song that i really really like i like lilies but you give me roses because you don't listen to what i like something along that line i hate because Okay, I'm a very, very open book. If you ask me a fucking question, I will fucking answer it, okay? I'm being so dead honest. I verbally explain, acknowledge, not acknowledge. I verbally tell people what I like and what I don't like. So when someone fucking does something I don't fucking like, that I verbally have explained that I don't fucking like, or give me something that I don't like, that I verbally say I don't like, it upsets the fucking shit out of me because it's just like, you obviously don't listen to me. And I cannot stand when people don't listen to me because I'm just like, I'm a hypocrite though because I'm a bad listener, I'll be so honest. But I mean, but it's just like, the song is like, oh, I love that song for that specific lyric. Next is number two, John Doe by Ba or B.O.B featuring Priscilla. I adore this song to the core of my heart. I love this song. This song is just so artistically beautiful. In my eyes, it's like basically someone like fucking lying to you all the time being like, oh, I'm not addicted. I'm not like, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that or whatever. And then once they get home, fucking addicted to some shit, to some substance or something, they're just a completely different person. I feel like a lot of people from my childhood are so different than when I met them. It just makes me think a lot about how people used to be and what, what caused them to change like so drastically like i understand change everyone's supposed to change but it's like when there's a drastic change i'm like how did you become that you know it has to be some sort of addiction you know it doesn't have to be drugs it doesn't have to be like alcohol or anything like that it has to be some sort of an addiction something when someone changes that drastically you don't eat, like that's a different dude that's a different person like you don't know them anymore this is definitely not the mean the meaning of the song but this is how i take it it's kind of like this person that you met like you love and whatever not like relationship wise i'm not talking about that but like just a person you cared about a lot and then they change so drastically that it's kind of like they're a stranger they're a different person that they're basically john doe because you don't know john doe because john doe jane doe is like basically describing something like a person that is unknown they are unknown i love it it's poetry this song is beautiful it's beautiful perfectly written i love it last and final song is number one this is actually genuinely my favorite song on pla on the planet i love this song this song is everything to me i'm playing it at my wedding and if anyone fucking steals it i'm gonna kill you dead ass sad happy by circle waves this is my favorite song i think the only song that i've ever like played for other people and people liked it and i was like yeah. basically the story of the song okay to me I'm a genuinely, I'm naturally a very happy person. Pfft, I hate this. I hate talking about this shit. But back in like freshman year of high school, I think that's when I got my first, I dipped my toes in this little puddle of depression. In my eyes, depression's kind of like, like a seasonal fucking thing. Like it comes and goes. Like it literally comes and then once you get rid of it, it comes again. Like it's something that you have permanently. In my eyes, I think depression is something that you have permanently. So anyways, I'm a naturally very happy person. I am, I don't look happy, I know I don't, but like I'm naturally very, I can bounce back very quickly. It takes me two days and I'm good. You know, if I'm sobbing for two days straight, I'll be good the third day. Let's just say that. So sad happy is kind of like, you're happy, like you're naturally, for me, I'm naturally happy. But when I'm depressed, I am also, like, I'm happily wanting to die. Does that make sense to y'all? I hate when bitches be like, oh, you can't be depressed, you're smiling, you're having a good time. Like, motherfucker, it's it's so fucking easy to smile and look genuine. It's so easy to act genuine, to look genuine, to be genuine. When you don't want people to find out, you'll do anything in your power to make sure people don't fucking find out. The last thing people want to do is be a burden to people because why would you want to do that? Like, you care about these people. Why the fuck would you want to spread what is killing? you 
to this person that you love and you care about like bitch what are you talking about you're stupid i love this song because there was a comment if you ever watch this song on youtube there's a comment under it's basically like talking about like this dude he's depressed and he goes to see a therapist and he's talking to the therapist like i i can't find a reason to be happy i just don't have anything in me to be happy the therapist goes to tells him like yo like bobo the clown is coming into town like you should go see the bobo the clown because bobo the clown makes everybody happy like that's just like who he is like he makes everybody happy he makes everybody laugh and the dude tells the dark or the therapist be like yo like i'm bobo the clown yo i got chills i got goosebumps i love sad happy by circle waves i love this song to death it's just so good it's so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you liked it. If you didn't, then also let me know so I don't make it again. And also let me know if my music taste is, is ass as everyone else has told me. And please like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it. If you don't, that's fine too. I don't really mind. Don't follow me on my socials and don't DM me. I... Social media is not good for me. I deleted Instagram, Twitter, yeah, Instagram and Twitter off my phone because I just can't, I can't, like, it, it consumes my day, bitch. I have TikTok and YouTube. YouTube for obvious reasons. TikTok because I'm rarely on TikTok. I go on there to post and then I fucking dip. So yeah, have a great day. I love you guys. Be kind. Be kind, bitch. Be kind. But yeah, have a great day.